Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Alpha males, alpha females, alien greys, dark alien greys, archeons, and all of these beautiful individuals who are misunderstood and not understood because of uh, bias or prejudice. Thank you for listening to my videos, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Um, I get right to it, and sometimes my videos are not long, like 10 minutes. Sometimes my videos are about five or six minutes, okay? And lately I haven't been making a lot of videos because I'm pretty occupied with my daughter. Um, I'm a really good, pure-hearted individual like Jesus Christ, okay? And I'm not arrogant when I say it. I actually do things like Jesus Christ, and I'm actually being Jesus Christ reincarnate, okay? I'm Jesus Christ reincarnate to tell you the same thing what he told you, okay? Tell, told those 12 disciples and people. To treat others as you would treat yourself, okay? That's the key value of being like Christ. I help people in Somalia, Ethiopia, and it's even homeless people in the streets out here, okay? I do the jobs that I'm supposed to do, okay? But at the same time, I'm not rich, okay? I give very little, okay? As much as I can, you know? I try to live as conservative as possible in my life, you know, so I can actually be noble and pure heart, pure thought, okay? You know? So, in this video, I'm going to talk about... Uh, Sharing is caring, okay? Sharing and caring is basically, it goes both ways, okay? When it comes to love, okay? Sharing and caring is basically when you are in a relationship and you know you can love more than one person, okay? So who told, who told you, who told people that you can only love one person? Religious cannot dictate your life. When you're born out of the mother's womb, you cannot be dictated by a book, okay? If God wanted you to know that he exists, God would reveal himself to you before you even consider to continue on in your journey in this life. But the whole purpose of life is the experience of it. Not to stab someone in the back, treat people as you want to treat yourself. That's morality, okay? So you don't treat someone who don't know what's happening to them. Like you got these pedophile men doing terrible things to children, and these children don't know what's going on, okay? That's not right, okay? That's not morality, okay? Now, I know we eating animals and chickens and shit like that. That's not morality, but sometimes we have to survive, you know, to eat luxury meats and foods like that. But we don't really need them because people are technically lazy and very uh, ignorant, okay, or uh, brainwashed, okay. But this is what this video is about. So if you're a woman, okay, a queen, okay, or even a king, I'm looking for a king, uh, a, a man, or or even a little boy, because a lot a lot of women don't know how to choose a good man. Okay, technically correct. Okay, they don't evaluate or test the waters. They don't ask quite enough questions. A lot of people are not very honest either. Okay, most people are not honest. They are liars. Okay, so if you see if you you're with a man, you ask him the question. Okay, you know you want to share me with another woman. Okay, you you joke around, then you can see the love of that man. Okay. There's many different levels of love now here. Okay, I, did, I do have a video talking about gold love, platinum love, bronze love, silver love. I talk about all those different types of loves, okay? But most people don't go past silver love, okay? Most people don't like sharing, okay? So um, sharing is caring. It also shows how much you care or love an individual. Love is just a four letter word. The word caring is just a different, it's different levels of everything. Okay, you know, you can care for someone to the point you're going to kill for them. Okay, that's like, that's extreme right there, baby. If I ask you to go kill for me, you know, that's, you see how much love that is, right? That's like one of the, you kill yourself. How you kill yourself for me? That's crazy. That's a high degree of love, okay? You know? But you got to actually do some brainwashing in order to do some shit like that to tell someone to kill you. You meet a man, you ask him, you want to share me with another woman? He must say, are you serious? If he says, are you serious, okay, then you know that motherfucker want another wife, okay? Especially if he deserve it or not, and you don't want to lose that man. You don't want to lose a good man. Trust me, that's karma dharma for your ass, okay? For y'all women, particularly. Because you got some busted up ass past because you didn't have a good daddy in your past, okay? You know, you got to understand what spirituality is. You got to understand what discipline is. You got to understand that hanging with negative people out in the streets is not good. Smoking cigarettes, not taking care of your health. You know, you can dance all you want. You can show off from the American Idol or The Voice, okay? You can show off all you want, your skills. You can learn that shit at the house, you know? You, can, you can't learn it through peer pressure. Actually, you can't learn it through peer pressure, I'm sorry. But it's not, it's not really helping society. If we want to come together as human beings, you, you, we got to come together as one voice, okay? 
We've got to reduce the population down. You get one man must have multiple wives because of the fact that there's too many women who are going to de- technically be single. Because, you know, you got one man, three women for each man all across the world, okay? Or one man for two women, okay? Whatever the saying is. I did some research on it. You know, you got these women singled out because everybody's married. All of the men are married. But there's always one other woman that's still single, okay? And it doesn't benefit mankind when that happens. So you got to understand that these men have to have focus and dedication on taking care of the wives that they're with until death, okay? There, shall, there will always be enough women for men, okay? But for some particular reason, you know, people don't like to share. Sharing is caring, like I said before. And you got these women prostituting themselves, selling themselves, taking advantage of the system so they can get out of the situation. So yeah, free ride is not cool. Okay, because women are the ones who spend multi billions of dollars on hair products and things for their bodies, makeups and stuff that they really don't even need. Okay, all you need is some 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 goddamn baby oil and a little bit of eyeliner. That's all you really need. You don't need no blush and all that stuff. You know, but since human humanity is not really mature, okay, you have to come to terms with, you know, not selling for less, but selling for the best as possible. You're not looking for money, and you're not looking for high-level appearance. Now, let's say you're a 10, okay? You're a 10-type chick, okay? And you should deal with a 10-type man or a 9-type man, okay? Don't go too low, okay? Because there's a problem. There's a psychological barrier there. Insecurities may pop up if you talk to someone who's like a 4 or something like that. You talk to a handicapped person, he ain't got nothing to worry about because he's handicapped. You talk to someone who's a 5 or a 6, he playing video games, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But women have more options than men do. So, y'all, obviously, y'all women already know about this shit. So, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to cut this video a little short. Sharing is caring. Okay? That's the key word. You talk, you test it. You ask the question and see where it leads from there. Okay? So, it's not like, you know, it's mainly a sex thing. Usually, women are jealous because of they think the other woman is doing better with them in the bed. But you shouldn't even be worried about that. I would share my wife with another man. I would definitely do if I find the perfect right mind. But the only thing I have a problem with is dick size. I don't want that man to be like 12 inches busting my woman's pussy open and shit. Because women's bodies change. You, you do know this, right? You fuck too much, your fucking can over and your fucking vagina will stretch. And they will affect the next man. I don't care how he want to express himself. Most men are very simple when it comes down to, you know, fucking, okay? Hey, get that up. Get that up. Okay. that up. So when it comes down to sexuality, you have nothing to be afraid of. You can have that shit secret. You can have it in different rooms or whatever. It's a benefit for men, but at least that man ain't going nowhere. One woman will always keep another woman in check, okay? Before they leave any kind of relationship. You should know this. Y'all women should know this. If you, if you ain't stable with it, you'd rather cheat out in the street? You'd rather be a prostitute? You know, which one is going to be? You want a king? You want a man? Or you want a boy? Okay? And I'm, I'm getting tired of women saying they're independent and they don't understand they probably don't understand what the word independent mean okay you know psychologically to a good man a man thinking that you're gonna kick him out of the house because you got a big ass house or a big ass car you ain't kicking me out i got kicked out one time in my life though <laughs> that bitch didn't listen to me so i almost killed the whole fucking family i didn't mean to do that but i you know i gave her a warning she didn't listen it's not my problem you know but lucky for her everything is safe for her she's safe she took the wise step you know I got kicked the fuck out, but that's it, man. I said, oh my goodness, man. I will never live with a woman again. I will never let that happen. And y'all men, y'all men, boys, and, and also your kings, you should know better than living with a woman. It's better to live in a shelter. I lived in a shelter for many fucking years, okay? But I found my way up. I'm okay now. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Peace and love. Peace.